It was one of the most infamous cold cases in Ohio history. For more than 50 years, authorities had been looking for Ted Conrad, a young man who vanished without a trace after robbing $215,000 from the Society National Bank in Cleveland. Over the years, the Conrad case would appear on TV programs like America's Most Wanted and Unsolved Mysteries. But nothing panned out until the summer of 2021 when the U.S. Marshal for the Northern District of Ohio, Pete Elliott, was sent an ordinary-looking obituary notice. The deceased, a suburban family man from right here in Linfield, Massachusetts, named Thomas Randall. Elliott immediately took note of Thomas Randall's birth date and parents' first names. They were suspiciously similar to those of the wanted bank robber. Authorities then matched handwriting samples between Randall and Conrad. So we knew that things were really adding up, but the next step was gonna be have to go to Boston and knock on the door without them knowing we were coming. The knock on the door came six months after Tom Randall's funeral in May. It wasn't totally unexpected. And my mom came in and she's like, it's happened. When the marshals first appeared, Ashley made a half-hearted attempt to play dumb. I think at one point he was like, so, do you know why we're here? And I was like, I have no idea why you would be here, That's officers. What yeah, I, I think my reaction was something like, I, what? Did he know you were lying? Yeah, I mean, my mom and I are terrible liars. But once U.S. Marshal Pete Elliott assured the Randalls that they weren't in any trouble, Ashley says the real relief was in being able to finally share the family secret openly. It felt, I know this is gonna sound weird, it just felt like four friends sitting down and having a conversation. I mean, they were obviously law enforcement, right? And you know that. But there was no sense of like, your dad's a bad guy and we finally got him. Neighbors are in absolute disbelief. When the news went public, reaction of neighbors ranged from astonishment. <laughs> you never know. To undisguised admiration. And I'm glad someone finally stuck it to the man. It's about time. He's my hero. He's Clint Eastwood, modern times. As for Tom Randall's closest friends. A buddy of ours called me up. He said, are you watching TV? I said, no. He said, you'll never believe who's a bank robber. David Sansulo, who grew up in the North End, jokes he had no shortage of potential candidates, but he gave up after offering about 15 names. I said, who is it? He said, it's Tommy. I said, Tom Randall, get the f out of here. No way. It's impossible. That's bull. I swear to God, to this day, I still can't believe that it was him. Today, those closest to Tom Randall find themselves racking their brains for hints that this affable, affectionate man was hiding a huge secret. Ashley Randall sees now that her father's lack of a valid passport explains his puzzling refusal to chaperone her high school trip to France. And I remember at the time thinking, maybe he just didn't want to travel, and I, I never thought, oh, he must be keeping a secret. I just thought, dad's a little weird sometimes. But even with the benefit of hindsight, Tom Randall's golf buddies still have a hard time pinpointing any tells. One exception for me is, I used to say, why do you have that crazy beard? He was disguising himself. He was trying to be incognito. I still get calls from friends and they can't believe, they still can't, they say, can you believe this? Can you believe Tommy is a bank robber? And of course, now hindsight offers some insight, perhaps, into another kind of curious move Tom ran away. Yeah, well, back in the 70s, before they were married, Tom and Kathy moved to Florida. Tom was playing semi-professional golf, and he was on the, the road to go pro. But instead, Tom surprised Kathy by announcing that they should move back mm. north and get married. He must have been kind of nervous about the idea of his profile getting, getting higher and him being recognized. Wow. Still ahead, why Randall may not have anticipated a life on the run.